Hi Sagittarius. This is a peek at your partner for the week of October the 2nd through October the 8th, 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Sagittarius for October the 2nd through October the 8th, 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Sagittarius for October the 2nd through October the 8th, 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Sagittarius for October the 2nd through October the 8th, 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So... Sagittarius. This is a peek at your partner. Sag, your partner has the four of wands. Your partner has the ace of cups. Your partner has the four of pentacles. Your partner has the nine of swords. Where's your partner? All over the place. Your partner has the hierophants. So, Sag, your partner has the four of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Sag, listen, this can be about your partner's foundation, their stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or property Clarify the four of wands for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the four of wands for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the four of wands for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with the five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war. One up in one another. Snide remarks. Having the last say. Speaking ill of one another behind each other's back. Backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games. Ego tripping. Trying to win at all costs. A bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Sag, listen, you guys may have had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be a form of mind games and manipulation. However, your partner could be pissing they may have an axe to grind here so sag are you guys going back and forth tip for tat tug of war over commitment stability you know maybe leveling up here let's see sag your partner has the ace of cups scorpio cancer or pisces this is a brand new beginning in love a brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. New love, new start to love, or a blessing for your partner. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Sagittarius' 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 partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking their truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift. It's bitter. It's harsh. It's direct. It's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So sad. Some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Sagittarius' partner. 
It is clarified with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Sag, could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. But also the Queen of Swords can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Sag, listen, your partner could have the spark of a new idea, could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or someone starting a passionate new beginning. Now Sag, it very well could be that your partner is initiating something here. You know, they have the spark of a new idea, maybe wanting to start a new era in love. And maybe wanted to set the record straight here because you guys could be going back and forth concerning this commitment or this stability, this new era in love. However, Sag, it could also be a cutting off and a confrontation taking place because someone has new love or someone started a passionate new beginning somewhere else. And this is maybe why your partner's pissed. Sag, your partner has the four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is holding back, holding off, keeping something close to their chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Sag, listen, your partner could tell me that they're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. Your partner could tell me that they're holding on to their coin, saving their money, being stingy, or they're keeping something close to their chest. Clarify the four of pentacles for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the Four of Pentacles for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Four of Pentacles for Sagittarius' partner. <clears throat> it is clarified with the Magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner is trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And they have all the tools and resources available to them to manifest whatsoever they will. They have the fire element, the air element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, they can manifest. So Sag could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner's trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups again. Oh, goodness. So, Sag, new love, new start to love, or a blessing. Now, Sag, your partner may want to start this new era in love here. You guys may be going back and forth concerning it, okay? Could also be that your partner is telling me that they're keeping something close to their chest here. And I hope it's not that they have new love, that they started a passionate new beginning with someone else. <sighs> Sag, or some type of blessing. It could be property. Your partner has the nine of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in their mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So sad. your partner's all up in their head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Clarify the nine of swords for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the nine of swords for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the nine of swords for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that your partner doesn't see coming. Something that catches them completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock and awe moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Sag, a shocking surprise, shocking revelation, something being revealed or a breakup. 
Clarify the tower for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the tower for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the tower for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the Hierophant twice. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Sag, could be dealing with a Taurus, but listen, you guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency. Religious differences are values. Clarify the Hierophant for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters. Moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, your partner is wanting to move away. And this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree. Letting bygones be bygones. And moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Sag, listen, your partner may be physically moving or traveling. Your partner could tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Sag, really, this can be about forgiveness here, okay? And maybe wanting to put it behind you guys because it seems like your partner's wanting to start new. However, it could also be that commitment is on the table, and this is what we're worried about since we had some type of breakup. So your partner is wanting to maybe put it behind you and move away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or because we're going back and forth concerning this commitment, they may say, I just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship because you could be giving them problems, Sag. Sag, your partner has the hierophant again. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but like I said, you guys could be in a commitment. Someone very well may have commitment on the brain. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency. Religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering their craft, perfecting their skills, trades, and abilities. This is your partner throwing themselves into their work. But this can also speak to them being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Sag, yes, it could be something going on with work or business with your partner. But I feel like your partner is wanting to work things out. I feel like they want forgiveness. I feel like they want to start, start new and set the record straight here. However, Sag, your partner could also be planning some type of commitment here. But you guys may be going back and forth concerning it. Some type of stability, like moving in together, property, marriage, commitment. Sag, this is a peek at your partner for the week of October the 2nd through October the 8th, 2022. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.